Hello viewers. Oh, dark, aren't it? Today for repair, I have a Uniden telephone. This is a 900 megahertz EXI7960. Pretty cool telephone, uh, but the problem with it is that the audio is really tinny. So I'm going to dial up a test call here. Um, hopefully you'll be able to hear this. I don't know how uh, well you can hear the quality of the audio on the camera, but it's not where it should be. Um, it just doesn't sound good. So I think what's happening in this telephone is the receiver capsule is failing. So I'm going to open this up and have another one, which I believe will fit if I can find my screwdriver. And I'm going to try to put the other one in here and see if that improves the audio quality. And I'm going to try to leave a lot of the footage I record in the video. Uh, typically I kind of speed it up or cut parts out, but this time I'm going to try to just do it as raw as possible. So you can get a better idea. Whoops. Um, okay, well that went... Uh, Alright, that's fine. I didn't expect that to come off so easily. As I was saying, um, I'm going to try to leave uh, this video more raw just so you can see what the process of doing a repair on this telephone really involves and get a feel for how much effort it takes and how long it takes. See this is like something I normally cut out but it's something that happens in reality. Um, at this point, I'm going to put my uh, electrostatic thingy on. That's that. And these are, uh, I know this one is obviously having a problem, but these are very good telephones. Um, you got to figure these telephones are getting to be. 15 to 20 years old now so you have to expect some things to be deteriorating and need to be replaced so here we go I think this should be coming free now okay so there's the receiver capsule under this thing Okay, so there could be uh, one of two things going on here. It could be that there's something, uh, this wasn't positioned quite correctly to let the sound out. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another test call, and uh, now that it's out of the, where, where's the battery? Oh, there it is. Um, yeah, I'm losing it. I've done a lot of repairs today. Um, okay, you gotta put the dialer pad back on. Hopefully this did not uh, lose the security code yet. It looks like it didn't, so I'm gonna take a listen here. And it still doesn't sound very good. Increase the volume a little bit here. Yeah, it still sounds pretty chunky. So, oops, that's okay. Um, so, what we're going to do here is I have another receiver capsule over here um, from a different telephone. 
actually it's from a scrap telephone and uh, let's see is this gonna fit yeah it looks like it'll fit so I'm gonna take that receiver capsule and I'm gonna put it onto this telephone and um, we're gonna see if we have an improvement in the sound quality or not I suspect that we should but you never know okay so what I did was I just took this and I put this on here like this and I made a test call and it does in fact appear that this one is sounding better so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and replace this okay so what we're going to do now is I'm going to do this I'm going to cut this off and I'm going to strip this and I'm going to make these connections just enough so I can do a slightly better test with the speaker actually in the handset. just grab some tape to put around these wires for now um, unless I can just kind of finagle this into here without it of course we have to be very aware of the fact that the wires can't touch each other probably make sure this receiver capsule definitely fits in here uh, which may be a problem now I checked this before and it fit and I'm checking it now it's not fitting okay now it's fitting good okay yeah it fits so I'm just gonna um okay good so now that's in place, and those two stinking wires are going to touch each other, so, uh, okay, hold on a minute. Okay, this is, um, I really just want to make a stinking test call, just so I know that this is helping. And this is really not, uh, cooperating the way I'd like it to. Hopefully this will work. Redial. Oops, that's not it. Where's redial? There it is. Okay. That already sounds better, even from a distance. Yep, that fixed it. So it, I was correct. My inference was good. The receiver capsule or handset speaker has in fact spoiled. So now um, I'm going <laughs> to, I guess I'll have to get out the soldering iron and solder these, which is not my favorite thing to do, but I'm going to do it anyways because that's just the best way to fix it. And I'll pick up the video in a few minutes. Okay, so unfortunately these two receiver capsules are not really perfect replacements. In fact, they're probably just about as far from perfect as you can get. They're just about to cross the line of not working. But um, this has terminals on there. This doesn't. So we're going to have to make a connection uh, between these two wires. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this shrink tubing and I'm going to cut this. Uh, I got to cut the video now too. Okay, too much cutting going on. All right. So what was I doing? Something with this. Ah, yes, I was going to cut this this length.
and I'm going to slip this into here like this. <laughs> Dog granite, that's too long. Maybe we should cut this part of the video too. <laughs> now I'll leave it in so you can see that the struggles are real. Okay. Put the head on there. And I'll put this on here. And if you're wondering why don't I just solder right on there, it's because uh, this, the speakers on my scrap receiver capsule are too, I mean the, oh, the wires, the wires are too short. So, um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to join these wires like this and take my tweezers and I'm going to just kind of combine these two. Do the same with this other side here. Oh, we should have zoomed in so you can see what I'm doing, but I'm not doing something that's really that impressive, so I guess it doesn't matter. So now that those are joined well enough, I'm going to slide the shrink tubing over the connections. And uh, I'm going to put this back in place here. That needs to go in there. Actually, while I'm in here, I'm going to take a quick break from this repair. I'm going to repair something else that's been kind of annoying me. The uh, foam around the, the screen is deteriorating as it is on uh, many of these telephones now. And so there's some black junk, as well as like specs, on the inside of this monitor. And it's driving me nuts. So I'm going to try to get those out of there. Probably with very little success, but um, I'll have more success if I at least try than if I don't. Yeah, it didn't really do anything. Oh well, that was a good try. Okay, now I'll continue to slide this on here. I think just because of the nature of this repair and the fact that we're not using parts that are really the best option, um, I'm not going to bother to shrink the shrink tubing because if I need to undo this again in the near future, because this is a used uh, capsule that I'm putting in here, I think it's it's plenty. Uh, it, the way it's designed, it's it's um, yeah, it's not going to so it won't be an issue um, as far as the, the, uh, yeah, the things are not going to come out of place. That's uh, all I wanted it to do was just to, um, you know, protect the two. 
connections, and that's exactly what it's doing. Shrunken, shrunken, whatever, or not. So, all right. Now, here's the screws. Um, there should be a third one somewhere. See, this struggle is real, too. Stuff disappears. Oh, man. What? Okay, well, um... Alright, so I watched back the video and it turns out I haven't really totally lost it yet. Uh, that's the set of three screws goes in the receiver capsule. There's only two screws um, that go into the side of the board here. For whatever reason, I thought there was a third screw that goes up there, but it turns out there is in fact not. So, uh, we'll put these back in place now. Okay, screw these on, and this telephone should be working fine now. Okay, put the screws back in to the back here. And we are using a Telepower battery in here, never heard of that brand before, probably never will again, but it seems to be working okay, so so be it. And here we have it. Talk. Let's make a test call. Good evening. Deposit checks from your smartphone. Snap, click, deposit. What know how can do. July 11th, People's United Bank, time, 6. It sounds heaps better in person. I don't know if you can notice on the video or not, but this was a very successful repair. So I'll close this telephone up, and we'll uh, probably use this for spare parts again in the future. So thank you for watching another successful repair. Hopefully the video wasn't too boring. Comment, subscribe, and out.